What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm watching Avatar The Last Airbender for the very first time. Shout out to Nerd Chronic for editing these reactions for me and uh, sneaking them past the Viacom blockade. <laughs> Trying to keep these reactions on YouTube has been a rough road, so thank you for your help. Uh, it has been a little while, admittedly, since I sat down and watched this, but I do remember that last time we met the blind bandit, Toph, who was an earthbender, and she's joined the group, rounds out the group nicely. We've got an earthbender in there too. Um, which is perfect because Aang still needs an earthbending teacher. So, is it going to be tough? Let's find out. Uh, this is book two, episode seven, Zuko alone. Let's go! Not in a good mood. Oh, don't rob these poor people. They're from the Earth Nation by their garb. Hey, he actually didn't do it. I like that they're showing him, like, they're manifesting him making different choices throughout this journey. Could I get some water, a bag of feed, and something hot to eat? Not enough here for a hot meal. He's got to eat the feed that he'd give to his chocobo. Ow! Meanwhile, there's kids just, like, throwing perfectly good eggs as, as a prank. You throwing eggs at us, stranger? No. You see who did throw it? No. Thanks for your contribution. Thanks for not ratting me out. Egg thief. <laughs> you could have given some to Zuko. He's hungry as hell. This guy just stood up to the soldiers. Does this guy have a name? I'm... Uh... He doesn't have to say who he Mr. is. Mr. Schmuko. Supper's going to be ready soon. Would you like to stay? I should be moving on. Gonsu could use some help on the barn. Why don't you two work for a while, and then we'll eat. Interesting. So it's just a bunch of brigands and thugs that are left over for the Earth Kingdom's army to defend the home home turf while everyone else is off fighting. Stop asking the man personal questions, got it? Yes. So how'd you get that scar? Oh! <laughs> a man's past is his business. Yeah, the father took one look at Zuko and was like, this guy got into some shady stuff that we were better off not knowing about. Like... Oh, that's beautiful. Hey, Mom, want to see how Azula feeds turtle ducks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be nice. How dare you? That's what you get, little Zuko. <laughs> you tell him, Mama Duck. That's what moms are like. If you mess with their babies, they're going to bite you back. So this is establishing that Azula has been mean ever since he was a little kid, because he was already making jokes about it. Can you make Zuko play with us? It's important for us to spend time together. Don't you think so, Mom? Yes, darling. I think it's a good idea to play with your sister. Come on, Mom. How do you not see through this? I can see through this. <laughs> They're so cute together. You two are such... Ugh. You're soaking wet. Girls are crazy! Couldn't a firebender just like <laughs> dry their clothes? I hope you all may see it someday. Bossing say he's laying siege to Bossing say. Everyone teases him about never being able to capture the city. It would be awful if Uncle Iroh didn't return. And besides, Fire Lord Azulon is a picture of health. How would oh, you like it? Fire Lord Azulon, so it's not even the same Fire Lord. I still think our dad would make a much better Fire Lord than his royal. I don't know why I assumed that the current Fire Lord had just been like it was just really old, but then was also Zuko's dad. <laughs> Okay, what kind of trouble is this funny looking kid gonna get into? You're holding them all wrong. Oh, he's gonna make a friend. Zuko's gonna train him. These are dual swords. Two halves of a single weapon. They're just two different parts of the same whole. <laughs> oh, he's connecting with someone. It's so important to Zuko for his formation because he's always had mentors. He's always been given wisdom. He's never had the opportunity to teach someone else something. You know, that must make him feel so good about himself. Oh, we're gonna do the, we're gonna do an Akira Kurosawa here, aren't we? We're gonna have he's gonna train up the villagers to fight back against these brigands. Your son's battalion got captured. You boys hear what the Fire Nation did with their last group of Earth Kingdom prisoners? Why would you be cruel like this, man? Yeah, Zuko. You give him what for. 
Why bother rooting around in the mud with these? Yeah, he's scared of him. Yeah, he, re he remembers him from the marketplace. He's like, not again. <laughs> Iroh has lost his son. Your cousin, right. Luten, did not survive the battle. What's gonna happen to my brother? Here, I want you to have this. Read the inscription. Made in Earth Kingdom. The other one. Never give up without a fight. Wow, he's even repairing some of what the Fire Nation did by, like, returning that to the Earth Kingdom. The Dagger of the General. Uncle's coming home. Does that mean we won the war? No. It means Uncle's a quitter and a loser. Sure, he can't keep fighting after losing his son. Your father has requested an audience with Fire Lord Azulon. Best clothes, hurry up. Fire Lord Azulon. Someone will probably end up taking his place soon. Young lady, not another word. Yeah, that's some, that's some treasonous words. Would you show grandfather the new moves you demonstrated to me? That's right, because she's a firebending prodigy. I'd like to demonstrate what I've been learning. Come on, Zuko. Don't embarrass yourself. And his story is so hard to watch. It's so painful. I loved watching you. That's who you are, Zuko. Someone who keeps fighting even though it's hard. Prince Ozai, why are you wasting my time? Everyone needs a mom like that. Iroh's bloodline has ended. After his son's death, my brother abandoned the siege at Ba Sing Se. But I am here, father, and my children are alive. Revoke Iroh's birthright. Holy shit. I am your humble servant, here to serve you and our nation. He supplanted him. You dare suggest I be Jesus, can you imagine Iroh? what the Fire Nation would have been like with Fire Lord Iroh instead? I think Iroh has suffered enough. But you, your punishment has... Oh, nice. Current Fire Lord is actually pretty just. Grandfather said Dad's punishment should fit his crime. You must know the pain of losing a firstborn son by sacrificing your own. I'm only telling you for your own good. I no, I don't believe her. She's never done anything for anyone's own good. You have to help. Lee pulled a knife on them. I don't even know where he got a knife. Ah, oh, damn it, Zuko. You gave it to him. I told you he'd come. All right, Zuko. I hope you can pull this off. There's a lot of them. Man, he looks cool with the short hair. I dig it. Let the kid go. You're not soldiers. You're bullies. Freeloaders abusing your power. Are you gonna let this stranger stand there and insult you like this? Nice. Iedo style, just boosh, out of the sheath. Oh. Yeah, look at these yellow bellies, just running. All right, it's hammer time. That would hurt pretty bad. Big ass boulder hitting you. Oh, come on, Zuko. It's like Han versus Vader, uh, Luke versus Vader in Bespin when he keeps throwing shit at him. You know. going on now never forget who you are is she leaving is she fleeing what happens to the mom why have we never seen her in any of the fire lord moments nice all right well now you've outed yourself as a firebender unfortunately people aren't gonna like that My name is Zuko, son of Ursa and Fire Lord Ozai. Ursa. Prince of the Fire Nation and heir to the throne. Ooh, is that why Sabine's mom is Ursa Wren? Is that a reference to this? His own father burned and disowned him. I know Ursa, like Ursa Major, is like a bear. It's yours. You should have it. No, I hate you. Ah, oh, man, poor Zuko. Where's mom? No one knows. 
Oh, and last night, Grandpa passed away. Not funny, Azula. Where is she? Damn. Azula, our matchless conqueror of the Hughes. Only 23 years. Okay, so he was pretty old when he ascended to Fire Lord. As was your dying wish, you are now succeeded by your second son. What? I mean, I knew that was gonna happen, but like, damn. You tricksy motherfucker. That is not what his dying wish was. Man. The real tragedy of it, of it all is that Fire Lord Iroh would have sued for peace with the other kingdoms, with the other nations. Oh, Ozai. Wow. That was awesome. That gives you a lot of background on uh, Zuko. Man, it's always so hard to watch. His story's so sad. Like, he was a great, like, foil for Aang in, in book one, in the beginning there. Like, you know, this young Fire Lord prince with a lot to prove and all this pressure on his shoulders and, like... Turns out he's trying to find his way back from exile. And now you learn that, like, this poor man just can't win. And it's just, he just gets tragedy after tragedy after calamity in his in his tragic story. Man. Um, still really enjoying the show, though. I can't wait to see what happens next. We're going to, hopefully the next episode we dive back into Aang and the gang. Um, that Toph is now a part of. I want to see more about how that group dynamic is going to work out. Because she only just joined them at the very end of the episode. After running away from her parents who, like... Told her she could never earthbend again. She was all doing it in secret. Um, so we're going to dive into that next. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!